This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up GuitarX so you can jam along with a backing track in your web browser on YouTube or in a media player on your Linux desktop. So I'm going to set this up from scratch. I will close out of the browser, GuitarX, and we're starting at a blank slate. So if you haven't gone through my first tutorial about how to set up Jack Audio on Linux, it's in the description below. Be sure to check it out. If you're running a media-focused distribution like Ubuntu Studio or AV Linux, they'll already be set up properly to utilize Jack Audio. But if you're using standard Ubuntu, Kubuntu, any other distribution, you'll need to go through those steps to get them up and running. The first thing you want to do is open Cadence. Cadence is the application that I use to configure Jack on my system. And we'll click the Configure button. And we want to make sure that our audio interface is selected. Our sample rate is set to a sample rate our audio interface supports, in this case minus 48 kilohertz. The buffer size is set to an amount that your computer can handle. So mine can handle 256 samples without giving me any X runs or audio dropouts. This may vary on your system. You may have to have it higher. The higher your buffer size is, the more audio latency you're going to get, but you're less likely to have audio dropouts. The lower your buffer size is, you'll have less audio latency, but you're more likely to have audio dropouts. And my period slash buffer size is set to 9, because that seems to work for my system. If I set it to anything lower, such as 3, I get some weird sounds in my signal in GuitarX. So once I set these things up, you can click OK. And if Jack was running before you set this up, you will have to force restart for your configuration changes to be active. So either force restart or start Jack Audio for the first time. And the other thing that we want to do is we want to come down to this tab that says Pulse Audio and make sure that Pulse Audio is started. Pulse Audio is the audio server that your web browser or media player plays audio through. And if you don't have that set up, you're only going to hear Jack Audio. Your web browser and media player are not Jack aware applications, so that's why we need to set up this bridge for it to work. The next thing we can do is open GuitarX. So we have an instance of GuitarX open. I'm going to go to Tools and open Cadia. This is our routing window for Jack Audio. There's a couple different options for routing audio on Linux, but I like this one because it's graphical and easy to use. Now we want to get the input from our audio card into the GuitarX plugin and then straight out to our audio outputs on the card so we can hear it. My guitar is plugged into Capture 2, so I've run a cable from Capture 2 to the input of the GuitarX amp head. Now automatically when you open GuitarX standalone, it's going to create the amp head and the head effects and tie them together, so you won't manually have to route between these two. That'll be set up already. And the final bit of routing you want to do is from the output to the system playback one and two, both sides. And this will route it so you can hear audio out of your speakers. This other device I have here, this Jack input client, that's simply there because I'm recording in uh, OBS. And that's passing audio from GuitarX direct into OBS. You won't have this and you won't need to worry about it. The next bit of routing that we have to take care of is we need to get pulse audio direct to our outputs on the card. And the way that we do that is with this pulse audio tag here. You can see it's routed from the left to playback one and the right to playback two. Anything that is played from pulse audio will go direct to the system output. So this was recalled because I had set it up previously. On your system you may have to hook it up, but once you hook it up for the first time, it should recall and connect automatically. So now we can test our setup. And what I like to do is I'll 
Also add a uh, master output meter just to make sure I'm not clipping the outputs. And you can see how that is attached here. That's this little M icon. And just making sure that our backing track and our guitar head are not clipping the master outputs. And I should be able to open Firefox. Find a nice backing track and jam over it. that works pretty well. Uh, one other note, if you would like to record the jam without having to open up a DAW, you can again go to Cadence and Tools and there's an option called Render. You simply type in the file name and location and press Render and that will record whatever you're playing directly to a file. So it's a cool quick way to record a jam without having to open up any sort of DAW. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and find more tutorials at bkashaaudio.com.